So as a part of the Average Joe's Across America series, I knew it was gonna be important to have a vehicle that could take me to any range, across any state, anywhere we needed to go to go visit you guys and hang out with y'all. So uh, I decided to build out my 4Runner and we're actually here in Scottsdale, Arizona uh, to link up with State 48 Overland and then uh, Toy Pros out of Mesa, Arizona. So taking the 4Runner over there, it's gonna be stage one of the Build-A Fair, bring you guys along, show you guys a little bit behind the scenes, talk about why we're doing what we're doing, but I gotta pack up all my gear and we gotta get on the road. So most people don't know this, but uh, we actually have a live-in nanny, and he watches James all day long. So we have a male nanny because we're progressive. And uh, he's Hispanic, so we're super progressive because he teaches in Spanish. Um, yeah, but he's also single, ladies. So if you're looking for a date, oh. Dave's got you. Single, ready to mingle. Also, it's my birthday today. I turned 32, so happy birthday to me. Casey forgot her water, so I had to go up and get it. All the extra cardio, because she didn't want to go up the stairs. All right, so we made it. Uh, time to go inside and get this thing started. Quick break in the uh, build process because something came across it. Felt like we needed to show you guys. Look at this thing. I need one of these. I'm just gonna sell the Forerunner and get this. And just for reference, those tires are almost as tall as I am. And as you can see, things are a little bit different here. We'll talk about that another day. But big thank you to State 48 Overland. Shout out to Eric and Jay over there. And then shout out to Ben and his whole team at Arizona Toy Pros. Those guys did an amazing job on my truck. What you actually saw was two days of work that was combined or compressed down into that few minutes. Really quick, what we did and why we did it. So when we started the build, when I was talking with Jay, Jay reached out and we were kind of going back and forth. And I was like, hey man, here's what I have in mind. Here's what I wanna do. So we decided to go with Icon Stage 7 because of the, the package that it provided. I really like the 
uh, billet upper control arms. Um, so it worked for me. So we, we went with that. I wanted something that I could take and know that it was gonna handle pretty much anything I put out there. And the way that Jay describes me, he's like, anything short of running like the Baja, you're gonna be good. So we decided to go with that. Uh, we did upgrade the springs. We went to Overland Springs because we're gonna have quite a bit of weight on there with armor and then as well as all the gear we'll be taking with us as we go on the road. We knew we were also going to go to a larger tire size going up to 285s, maybe 35s in the future, but 285s for now. So we re-geared to 488s to help bring back some of that power band, bring back some of that low end torque so that it wasn't so much pedal lag. And that was the way to go. That's how the truck should come. Uh, you have no pedal lag. It's very snappy out of the gate. Um, a lot of low end torque, so really nice. Um, and then other little things that, that were in there that you might not have noticed or we shot, but you might not be sure what they were. One of those items you saw in there were dura bumps and they're the little rubber bump stops. For the price, those are the best option on the market that you can put on your truck to soften those, those hard hits, those hard bumps. Those things are awesome and the, the design and technology that goes behind them with their progressive dampening technology. Basically, it's just the different density of rubbers so that it is progressive and not just like a hard jolt. I'll link all this down below. And then the other thing you saw too were the one piece uh, splash guards, the arc splash guards that actually had my logo in there. So that was actually a nice touch that they did. So shout out to Jay and Eric again for, for doing that. I had no idea that was coming. I got there and I saw my logo on these splash guards. So that was awesome. Nice little touch that you can see inside the the uh, wheel wells in the front. They're much more durable, they look nice, they're clean, and you can customize them. If you noticed, we had Method 703s on there, but if you've been following my other page, which is this one, which is all Forerunner related stuff, you'll notice that I no longer have those Method 703s on there. That was initially what we put on there, and then we took it off road, we went, you know, hit some trails on the way home, and then when we got back, I uh, actually had a great conversation with Tandem Off-Road and uh, Fury Off-Road Tires, and they both hopped on as supporters and sponsors. So I'm actually now running Tandem 612 Charlies, uh, which they've been great. I love the look, I love the color. Um, I really like the bronze from Method, but for me it was just too bright, and it looked too bronze? Goldish? It was just, yeah, it was just, it was too bright, right? So that's why I went with the black, but then when I talked with Tandem and they said, hey, we've got, um, here's our dark bronze. Check these out, see what you think. And I was like, oh, dude, these are awesome. So let's let's run them. A little bit wider offset, so it gives it a little bit more stance. We went with the Fury Country Hunter MTs, the 285-7017s, and so they've been great so far. I was running the BFG KO2s, and I can tell you right off the bat, you know, we drove those all the way back from, from Arizona and then been driving around the area until we switched over. And I can tell you that the road noise is much quieter on the Furies. The rolling resistance and gas mileage is better. Uh, so we we'll yet to see off-road, so we'll need to get some more time on the trail before we can do an accurate comparison and see what those are like. But so far, everything's been great. Uh, they've been phenomenal. So looking forward to seeing how they handle throughout the year as we put, you know, quite a bit of miles on them driving all over. So that's pretty much it. But that, the whole idea behind building this, this truck, as I said at the beginning, was I needed a vehicle that was capable, right? So I love that Fieldcraft calls it mobility because that's what it is. It's just being able to take everything that we need for these series, uh, for these videos as we go and visit range days, to be able to go and get there and get through whatever. And that's been it. So it's, you know, putting a suspension in there that will, you know, one, handle the weight that we're gonna be putting on it, but two, allow us to go over the terrain that we'll be going through, whether it's the mountains and the desert on the West Coast or through, you know, the swamps and the hills over on the East Coast or anywhere up in the Northwest, whatever. Same thing with uh, the re-gearing, knowing that we have the, the torque to get through there. Um, so this was kind of like the heart of the build, like the the meat and potatoes of it. It doesn't look as sexy, but it is what ultimately affects the performance the most, right? These are the most important parts. We can add the armor, we can add the lights, we can do all those things, but if we don't have a suspension that'll get us through there, we don't have that low end torque to climb, and, and like things start falling apart, then it doesn't really matter. So. This is, was more performance-based, not so much looks. We'll do a second video showing what we've done on the inside uh, to accommodate my being able to work on the road, as well as some of the upgrades that are coming with armor and lighting. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more stuff on this channel over the next year outside of just gun stuff. Still related, you're gonna see a lot more overland and off-road stuff, especially as we travel and go around. You may also see some other stuff that I'm into because this is Jim's goon life. My goon life expands beyond just guns. New content coming, new stuff coming, looking forward to the new year, looking forward to uh, linking up with, with you guys all over. We're, we're hitting up Arizona and Vegas in January, so looking forward to hanging out with you guys. That is gonna be amazing. Those are already booked and set up, but we're still taking applications, so I will link down below. You guys can still sign up to have us come out to your range day if you're interested in maybe linking up with people who are putting one on. There's been a strong showing out of Florida, a strong showing out of California. Uh, I've got guys in Indiana I've gotta get back to, Oklahoma, Austin, Houston, 
all over. So you guys, like those have been the hot spots that we've seen quite a few people. So um, if you're interested or you know buddies that might be interested, you know, share this video, tag them, and uh, we, we wanna come hang out with you guys. If you have any questions about the Forerunner or if you have questions about Average Joes Across America, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, sorry, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, karate chop the bell so you get notified every time we upload a video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're gonna have such a good day! Is it no? No? Okay. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Really quick. Really quick, I know I'm underexposed, but I felt like the world needed to know this. Uh, Dave, what what did you just say? What did you just tell? What did you just reveal to us? I've never seen Top Gun. He's never seen Top Gun. I can't even begin to express the level of betrayal that I feel right now. The level of shock. I've quoted this movie to him a thousand times. I don't I don't even know if I if I know him anymore. It's the most quoted movie ever. I feel like. I feel, there's, so I, there's, feel like, I feel like I've seen it. Already. There's good. There's good reason that it's the most quoted movie. Uh, maybe you should watch it and find out. I mean, I found out for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No excuses. No excuses. Well, I guess I better watch it.